Alright guys, welcome to the Property Game of Tours Fan Edition with me, your host Karan Bajaj, aka Dubai's Friendly Neighborhood Property Man. And for this week's episode, I'd like to give a shout out to Mishan Singh who commented, Your videos are super informative. Can you please make a video on La Riviera Azure JBC 1BHK apartment? Thanks. Thank you for your comment, Mishan, and let's get straight to it, shall we? So when it comes to buying a property, especially if you're a first time buyer, you're probably not really concerned about any fancy bells and whistles. I mean, you'd want it to have the essentials and be of a certain high standard that hopefully, hopefully, hopefully meets your expectations, if not surpasses them. But what if there was a sophisticated family friendly community that had all the essentials you'd need to live the cozy life? A community that had smart home equipped apartments that allow you to unlock your front door when you're sitting halfway across the globe or even turn on your AC just just before you arrive from that little vacation you just took. Apartments that offered a ton of space for how much they were asking for. So, so without further ado, I bring you a modern and well-endowed development that is currently still in the works, La Riviere Azure. Now, in one sentence, La Riviere Azure is a contemporary community of a low-rise L-shaped four-story building located in JVC and consists of studio, one-bedroom and two-bedroom apartments due for completion in March 2022. Developed by the renowned bespoke property developer Riviera Group, this family-friendly community has been designed to promote stress-free living with its outstanding leisure and recreational facilities for you to get plenty of R&R. What exactly are these facilities and amenities? Thought you'd never ask. Also, if you're wondering about the location and proximities, get ready to pause again in 3, 2, 1. Okay guys, so right now we are about to check out a one bedroom plus study show apartment for La Riviera Azure, which is to my left, right? And let us just check it out. All right, so immediately upon entering, right off the bat, you guys need to bear in mind that the overarching element common to all the apartments in this community are the fact that they are smart home equipped, right? Starting off with the smart home locking system, which I'm gonna squat and show you guys. All right, so all these smart home features, right, are from a brand called Orvivo. And this smart door lock actually has a keyhole underneath, a fingerprint sensor, a card reader, and a keypad to manually input your code for when you wanna unlock your door or have somebody else unlock your door, you know, somebody that you trust. Anyway, moving on to the tiling, we have porcelain tiling and yeah, looking at these panels, right? So this is the smart home panel and uh, this white panel to its right is actually a smart switch, right? From Orvivo as well. I'm gonna give you guys a good look at it, bring the camera a little lower. Now, this is an on and off toggle switch, off, on, right? I'm gonna play around with this smart home panel now so you guys get an idea. I'm wearing gloves, I hope it recognizes. Oh yeah, what do you know? It is very smooth, by the way. You can see how many controls you have for the lights, the thermostat. Uh, so these are actually all the controls for the lighting, if I'm not mistaken. Spare light on. <laughs> if hey, you have mood lights, what do you know? Now if I swipe right, you can see an AI scene category wherein you'd be able to switch in all the lights based on uh, whether you're watching a movie, flat exit, flat entry, I'm not quite sure about that. But yeah, all lights on, it seems more like it. Now you can even create your own lighting scene. Right? You can name it relax, put a background picture. Balcony switch wash. Okay, this is pretty high tech, right? AC thermostat and yeah, home screen. One thing to note is that the touch screen is highly responsive. So if I swipe up from the top panel, you can see all these settings at a glance, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. I think it runs on Android if I'm not mistaken. About home okay wow yeah it looks similar to android but yeah you get a smart home app right from orvivo and you can literally turn on the ac before you arrive let's say you're going on a trip you can uh, turn on your ac before you get home so it's at a nice temperature but yeah moving on to the apartment itself immediately to my left upon entering we have an open kitchen with the kitchen countertops and splashbacks made out of marble now the splashbacks have a nice led lighting strip right underneath the wall units that's a very nice touch if you ask me now, talking about all the appliances, right, that come with all the apartments in this community, you get a gas stove, an oven, a refrigerator, and freezer built into the wall units. They are all from a brand called Ignis, right? Now, we get a double bowl, 
kitchen sink, which is pretty big if you ask me, with a kitchen sink mixer from WW. And moving on to the cabinetry, we get these cabinets with soft close hinges. So let me, let me try the slam test for these. Uh, uh, nice, the buy property man approved. All right, I'm gonna open some of these cabinets over here under the countertop so you guys can have a look. And the drawer is right beside them where you can put your utensils and kitchen paraphernalia and whatnot. And uh, the space to its right is actually for the washing machine. The washing machine does not come with the apartments. However, you know, this is the space nonetheless for it. Now, moving out of this space, time to check out the living space. But before we do that, immediately to my left, we have the dining space. And right ahead of me, we have the living space. Now, these ceilings are actually, actually pretty high. Over 3.9 meters to be precise for all the units on the ground floor. And over 3.3 meters for the units on the first, second, third, and fourth floors. Now, it leads up to a spacious balcony that, you know, I would love to show you guys towards the end of the store, but it is locked. But I will show you the view towards the end of the store, you know, from here itself. I'm gonna turn around now and give you guys a bird's eye view. The living space, dining space, kitchen, and entrance, right, that we just entered from. This is the show apartment, looks pretty neat. And I mean, they've done a pretty good job with the show apartment. But yeah, time to check out the bedroom of this apartment. Before we enter the bedroom, which is to my left, right in front of me, we have a study room, you know, that can be turned into a maid's room or whatever room you guys want to turn it into. You know, they've put a computer, an office chair, and platform over here, so you guys get an idea as to how you can make it look. Ah, nice smart switch from Orvivo, toggle off and on. <laughs> All right, so from this space, right, to my right, we have a powder room that has a toilet bowl and vanity top. And this powder room is unique in the sense that it has a shower cubicle. Right? It's not every day that you see a powder room with a shower inside. Now, I'm going to talk more about the fittings and sanitary wear when we get to the master bathroom. Now, because this has a shower cubicle, it pretty much makes sense to turn this study room into a maid's room if you like that, or maybe even host another person in your living space, right? Where you can sleep on the couch, and use the bathroom over here and take a shower and whatnot. And before I leave, we have these cabinets right under the vanity top over here. Nice. Moving out of this space, I'm going to check out the bedroom and immediately upon entering, we have these tall built-in wardrobes that are pretty, pretty tall, right? I'm going to open it so you guys have a look, right? So this is pretty spacious, if you ask me. And they have these cabinets on top as well. You probably need a stool for that, right? Because I'm uh, pretty sure you won't be as tall to, you know, reach that unless you're, what, like seven foot or whatever. But yeah, <laughs> you have these shelves over here as well. Now. As I proceed further to my right, we have the ensuite bathroom in the bedroom. Pretty spacious, right? If you ask me. Vanity top with these cabinets under the vanity top where you can put your towels and whatnot. Toilet bowl and shower cubicle right, with a rain shower. So this has a rectangular drain. Looks pretty nice. And these shelves where you can put your bathroom kits, Epsom salts or whatever. Now, the fittings are from Gibrit and WW, and the sanitary wear are from WW and Keramag. Now, moving out of this space, right, time to check out the bedroom. You can see that it is as high as the living space in terms of ceiling height. Get a good look at that, guys. And yeah, it leads up to a balcony that opens up to the same balcony in the living space. That's why it makes it pretty spacious. Let me just show you guys from here because it is locked. Uh, you can see that it is pretty much not completed yet, you know, with the flooring. But yeah, have a look at the railing and, uh, you know, this is the ground floor. So just to give you guys an idea as to what you can expect. It opens up to the living space that I'm going to fast forward to right now. So this is how you'd be able to access the balcony from the living space, right? It opens up to the balcony outside the bedroom. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tour of the one bedroom plus study show apartment for La Riviere Azure. And that was episode 18 of the Property Game of Tours featuring La Riviere Azure. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. And if you'd like to book a free consultation with Dubai's friendly neighborhood property man, I've mentioned a link in the description box as always. Tell me which projects I should do next because I'd be able to make more fan edition videos like this. And as a result, you guys would keep watching and give me more views and likes and help my channel grow. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Woo!